100 years ago today, on November 10th, 1921, a dedication ceremony was held laying the cornerstone of NC State's bell tower. An address was given by Oliver Max Gardner, North Carolina's lieutenant governor at the time, memorializing the tower in honor of NC State alumni who lost their lives in World War I. The ceremony was actually reported on in a 100-year-old edition of The Technician, which states, November 10th, 1921, will always be one of the greatest days in the history of North Carolina State College. On this day, the college, the alumni, and the state paid reverence to the state college men who made a record in the World War, which is surpassed by none. Although 34 alumni were killed in World War I, 35 names appeared on the dedication plaque. This is because one veteran alumni was in critical condition in the hospital when the plaque was being created, and it was assumed that he wouldn't live. After a miraculous recovery, George L. Jeffers visited the plaque to discover that he was listed among the dead. He comes back, he comes in and looks, and there's his name on the plaque. <laughs> they decided to change his name on the plaque. Look on the left-hand side, sort of right in there, and see if you can spot the name that they changed. And your clue is to look at the middle initial. George E. Jefferson? Everybody look at George E. Jefferson. The man who was still alive was George L. Jefferson. Uh, and they changed his name to an E, and they put an O and an N on the end of his name. Is that an actual person? When they did that, they said there was no known person at that time with that new name. <laughs> and therefore, that name was designated as a symbolic name that represented all the NC State alumni who served in the war. Sort of like the tomb of the unknown soldier. Every, to, to the clapper in every bell, and there are wooden pegs that stick out, and when you hit one of those pegs like that, it'll pull the wire on that clapper, and it'll chime that bell. You know, who knows, when, once we get up there, if you want to ring a couple of bells, <laughs> we might be able to arrange that. Restored the outside, they cleaned it, and they built the incline so that people in the wheelchair can get in. Now, right about here is where they stopped the construction the first time, right about here. If you look at that wall, you can see with the kind of concrete they used that they put in, it had a lot of pebbles in it. Completed in 1937, the bell tower stands 115 feet tall and was originally planned by Vance Sykes, an alumni of the class of 1907. Construction cost $150,000 and was made up of 1,400 tons of granite on top of a 700-ton concrete base. This peg right here, guess why I hit that peg? I'm not sure. That peg is connected to a bell with my name on it. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Oh,